There it is. All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your girl, Faye. Faye, what? Yes, this is me with no lashes. My eyebrows are a mess. It looks like I love Frida, but I didn't want to have two eyebrows that go together. Anyway, doesn't matter. At least I'm married and I don't have to date right now, right? So let's talk about that. Dating during a pandemic. I've got friends that are actually dating. Yes, Match still works, right? Right, Tinder, all those places, they still are working. How do you do that during these times? So, like, what's the etiquette? Like, I know people that are meeting on FaceTime or, you know, they'll be able to talk about stuff on FaceTime and Zoom rooms and stuff like that. And I even heard about a Zoom room dating, uh, like, a, uh, like a mixer that people were having, and I thought that was a great idea. But, you know, once that time is over, when is the right time to meet up? Do you meet up? Where do you meet up? And how do you meet up? So do you meet at a park because it's outside? Do you wear masks? Of course you have to wear masks, right? I mean, I don't think I'd be meeting anybody new without a mask on. I go everywhere with a mask on these days. I'm in my backyard and I was thinking about putting on my mask right now to record this for you. <laughs> but what is etiquette? What is the right etiquette for that? How does that, people still need to date, people still need to find their partners. And what an incredible story you have to tell your children in the future. I mean, your mom met through, during a pandemic and you know, Life was crazy, but we still found each other through the rooms of Zoom. <laughs> it must, it really is for a good story, but what is the right thing to do? Like after how long of talking on FaceTime or on Zoom do you decide to go and actually meet somewhere? There's not too many pl places open, so do you, you know, I would say maybe go to a park. I would say maybe go for a walk by the water like I do every single day. Uh, that'd be a nice way to catch up. Um, you know, how do you buy somebody a meal when you can't go sit at a restaurant? And the restaurants that are open are not gonna have like these weird plexiglasses uh, separating certain tables. Like, that's not sexy nor romantic, but is that the new norm? Is that what dating will be now post COVID? Um, PC? I don't know. I don't know. Is it okay to send flowers to somebody? Like, do those flowers need to be sanitized outside before you bring them in? Mother's Day was super weird. You know, having Zoom rooms for moms and sending them dinners to their home because we couldn't be with them in person. And I mean, this new life is really, uh, it's really going to take some getting used to. But we're adaptable human beings, especially us alcoholics, us people in recovery. We, you know, if one liquor store was open or one drug dealer wasn't working that day, we always found another, right? So same thing for this. Anything in our life we can do now it's just you're just doing it a little bit more cautious and it's so worth it your health comes first so think about that if you're meeting somebody new or you're dating in this post pandemic well in this pandemic time because we're not over with this yet um take your time though meet them on facetime and talk for hours and then decide if you have that deep connection then i would say you know meet up meet up somewhere outside and just take it easy because uh Times are tough. That's the last thing you want is to meet somebody new and then they maybe test positive or you test positive and that would just be a crazy situation to be in. But there's obviously some people going through that right now. There has to be. Oh, coronavirus, you continue to bring us gifts. So for all of you guys out there dating during this, kudos, man. And just know that you guys are in my prayers every night because thank God I'm married right now. I couldn't even fathom this time and for people in recovery it's like uh you might see that person on zoom every day at your meeting uh, is it time to meet face to face you know some of the aa rooms are finally opening in our area and now we're doing dual meetings so we're doing the zoom room and the rooms and um it's quite interesting but we're alcoholics we will adapt we know how to adapt we need our medicine and we figure out how to get it right right I'll tell you more about that another Faye What, but for now, all you people dating during this time, applause, my friends, applause. Hey, you might just find Mr. or Miss Wright. And again, the story that you will have, well, all right, be kind to each other. We're in this together. Kindness is cool, so make sure that you do something good for somebody else today. All right? I love you guys, and we'll see you next time on Faye What.